That's mad nasty. And I'm from the Bronx, so that's saying something. I think the three main species of wildlife are rats, roaches, and pigeons in New York. And yeah, I guess I'll have to go to the zoo to see any pleasant living things in the city. Nonsense. Mm -mm. I don't think the rats are cuddly, but I think that if you look long enough, you can see a lot of diverse wildlife in New York City. There are many places in New York City that are home to hundreds of species of birds, mammals, reptiles, and more. And I'm not talking about zoos. Get ready, we're about to take you on a safari. Just the energy of walking outside and maybe a metro car swipe depending on where you're headed to. Jerome and Emerald, let's go to the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge. We'll take the A train. Kevin, come with me to Inwood Hill Park. We'll take the one train. Welcome to Jamaica Bay. This location is completely within the limits of New York City between Brooklyn and Queens. It is home to aquatic as well as terrestrial animals such as crabs, snails, turtles, owls, and ospreys. Jamaica Bay is also a prime location for horseshoe crabs and diamondback terrapins to lay their eggs. I'm definitely gonna check out Jamaica Bay again. Um, I didn't know there were prime wildlife locations like this in a place like New York City. There's plenty of other places to see wildlife in the city, such as the Bronx River Watershed in Bronx Park or Flushing Meadows Park in Queens. Thanks for the tour, Jude. I only thought that rats and pigeons were the only fun in New York City, besides them and the Madagascar crew. It was a pleasure, Emerald. That's all for today's YC Weekly. Be sure to follow our social media pages, and we'll see you next time. This is Inwood Hill Park. Unlike most parks in New York City, Inwood Hill is probably the last fully woodland park in New York, home to all sorts of unique and diverse wildlife, such as wild turkeys, flying squirrels, and a wide variety of different bugs and insects, such as worms, butterflies, and believe it or not, we have actual footage of a stray cat. We will now cut to that footage. As you can see, that is probably the most diverse wildlife we have seen all day. What do you think, Kevin? That's amazing. Inwood Park is one of my favorite places to visit in the city.